ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Chem Connection that provides you with regulatory news in between ChemCon conferences. In this episode, we'll take a closer look into the supply chain with ECHA and as promised, we'll focus on the developments in Latin America. For this, we will connect to Daniel Rios of the Latin America Regulatory Cooperation Forum that was established by ABICIM, the Brazilian Chemical Industry Association. Hello Daniel. Hi Tiet. Daniel, in November the Latin America Regulatory Cooperation Forum organized a workshop in Buenos Aires. That's correct. We had a very nice regulatory cooperation workshop with more than 120 people from nine countries. It was organized by the Chemical and Petrochemical Association of Argentina, the Secretariat of Environment of Argentina, the International Council of Chemical Associations and the UNEP Special Program. A lot of stakeholders. What was discussed? The main goal of the workshop was promoting regulatory cooperation in the region and creating a regional dialogue on the sound management of chemicals. We had a two-day event. In the first day, we had general presentations and discussions on creating virtual working groups between industry and government, especially on GHS and chemical regulations. The Argentine government also shared their experience on creating a chemical control law in the country and the results, the UNEP special program. In the second day, we had a hands-on full-day workshop on risk assessment where industry and government worked together in a very nice team-building exercise. That is promising. As always, there are some countries more proactive than others. What are currently the front runners in the region? Argentina, Brazil, Chile and Colombia are developing comprehensive chemical control regulations. However, Argentina is clearly the front runner. The draft bill that was prepared by the Secretary of Environment of Argentina was the first one in the region to be delivered to the Congress on September 13. In Brazil, things are going much slower. The text that was approved by the National Chemical Safety Committee last December that we discussed during the last Chemical Americas 2018 with authorities and delegates for industry was never presented by the new Environmental Ministry of Brazil to the Chief of Staff. On the contrary, very recently a new text, totally different text, was presented by a congressman to the parliament. We are following up on these developments. In Chile, things are moving much faster. The text is under final revision by the authorities and should be published in the first semester of 2020. In Colombia, there is a lot of discussions on the current proposal and industry and government are discussing aiming its improvement and alignment with other regulations in the region. Thank you, Daniel. Looking forward to seeing you in Philadelphia in March, where many Latin American authorities will share and discuss their developments with industry experts like Daniel. ChemCon sometimes feels like a firework show with lots of highlights. Latin America is scheduled for Tuesday morning, but we already start on Monday with a lot of USA issues related to Tosca. And also European highlights. How about Brexit? And Asian highlights, Korea and China to name a few, are provided to you in Philadelphia. In-depth knowledge is delivered by many authority and industry experts from all over the world, since nowadays the world is one big supply chain in need of information related to chemicals. To see what is going on in Europe in relation to the supply chain, we will connect with Helsinki and Andrew Murray from the European Chemicals Agency. Hello Andrew. Hello Chad. In the previous Camp Connection I discussed with your colleague Laurence the need to improve quality of safe use advice. She mentioned the ENAS workshop in November. Did this workshop help the stakeholders in the supply chain to align on the needs and ways forward in relation to supply chain communication? Yes, yes it did. We have worked with a network of experts known as NS over the years to develop a suite of tools and guidance to help uh, good supply chain communication. This is uh, highly important for REACH to function effectively as uh, supply chain communication is the main vehicle by which safe use advice goes to the recipients. In the November workshop, um, the European Commission, ECHA, consultants, IT providers, industry and member states came together to discuss the latest development in the tools and the benefits that they can bring. Now these included tools like uh, to help the registrant carry out their chemical safety assessment, also tools to help upstream communication on use and risk management measures, and indeed tools 
to allow for the identification of a, the lead or a risk driving component in a mixture, as well as templates for providing safe use information about a mixture. Can these tools resolve the supply chain communication challenges? Well, I think despite uh, our best efforts, um, mm -hmm. supply chain communication is not working uh, as intended. Um, occupational illnesses continue and also there are uses which remain unassessed. And this can be seen in a number of ways. For instance, that safety data sheets are not always compliant with the REACH requirements. Information is sometimes missing. Exposure scenarios are not helpful. Um, they may be too technical or they contain too much information um, for those who need to refer to them, especially small businesses for whom the information is, is of most relevance. Also, the sheer volume of information can present challenges in processing the important data. Now, the effects of exposure to hazardous chemicals um, cost the European society and industry billions of euros per year. For instance, the direct cost of uh, exposure to carcinogens, carcinogens at work is estimated to cost around 2.4 billion euros per year. So in, to improve this, REACH and the occupational and environmental legislations need to work uh, better together. Um, the safety data sheet and the exposure scenario should support um, the better effectiveness of the occupational law. And this was a, an issue, or this is an issue, um, which is recognised by the REACH Review Actions. This is explicitly mentioned in REACH Review Action 3. Can you remind us what that is all about? Yes. Um, REACH Review Action 3 is one of a number of actions that comes from the European Commission's report in 2018 on the operation of the REACH regulation. Action 3 concerns the quality and the workability of the safety data sheet and the exposure scenario. Now recipients need clear, meaningful recommendations and re to receive them in an effective and efficient way in order to handle the chemicals which they use safely. Some of the objectives of uh, REACH Review Action 3 are that industry um, develops harmonised templates and IT tools to convey safe use information along the supply chain and that industry implements those tools. That the European Con Commission will consider um, minimum requirements for the exposure scenario and that ECHO develops a method for mixtures. What should companies do already now? Well, our partners gave very strong support um, for exposure scenarios to include minimum requirements. Uh, for example, covering the content of the exposure scenario, the layout, and also um, the electronic transmission of the information and the format by which that can be done. One of the, the key ingredients for supply chain communication is representative real-world information on use and conditions of use for substances. Now a number of sectors, industry sectors, have made use maps to help improve the registrant's chemical safety assessment. And manufacturers and importers need to look to their downstream sectors to identify if any key business sectors have yet to prepare a use map, and if not, encourage them to do so. And if industry does not act, there is the risk of more authorization and restriction, right? Well, ECHA, together with Member States and the European Commission, um, are working intensively to determine um, which substances are of most concern on the European marketplace and to take decisions to prioritise them for regulatory risk management in the coming years. This is part of ECHA's integrated regulatory strategy, so more authorisations and restrictions may well follow. It's important that registrants keep their uh, dossiers up to date, especially their chemical safety reports, so that they reflect the uses of the substances. And good quality uh, upstream and downstream communication in the supply chain is important here, especially on uses and on conditions of use. Andrew, thank you very much. Thank you for watching, wishing you a wonderful holiday season and looking forward to seeing you in March 2020 in Philadelphia.